Suppose one is self-centred, which becomes very, very, very limited. That self-centredness may identify itself with something greater, but it will still be self-centredness, right? You understand? Right, sir? Come with me, will you? Do we agree to that? If I identify myself with my country, with my nation, with my religion, with my superstitions and so on, that very identification is the continuation of self-centeredness, right? I've only used a different set of words, but essentially it is this identifying process is self-centeredness. Yeah? Huh? Are we together in this? <laughs> right? It's a strange business, this, isn't it? Please, I am not trying to convince you. The speaker is not trying to convince you of anything. On the contrary, doubt, question, discuss, don't accept. But examine with a critical, sharp brain. Which is, one lives in disorder. That's a fact, you can't deny it. You may cover it up, you may run away from it. But we human beings live in disorder, hating, loving, anxious, wanting security, knowing there is insecurity, because we live constantly with the threat of war and also the threat of death. So, we live in disorder. Will time solve that disorder? You understand? We have lived on this earth, as we have archaeologists and biologists and so on, they say, we have lived on this earth for 45,000 years as human beings, walking on two legs. During those long periods of evolution, we are now what we are, in conflict in disorder. Time has not solved that problem, right? This long duration has not solved that problem. So we have to, we have, may have misunderstood time. That is, we hope another 40,000 years Acquiring a great deal of knowledge, ascending through knowledge, we will eventually come out without any conflict, without any disorder. Right? You understand that? So, t we may have misunderstood the meaning of time. Because we rely on time. I have been this, or I am this. Give me time to change. And we have had 40,000 or 50,000 years of time. And we are very primitive still. 
So that kind of thinking in time may be wrong. Means there may be a new way of looking at it. New approach to this whole problem, which is time is not a duration, a movement from this to that. Right? You need time to go from here to your house and so on. But psychologically, inwardly, if you don't like psycholo- psychology, inwardly, if you don't like that, inside the skin. <laughs> we have accepted time as a duration in which we will eventually emerge. Uh, human beings who are extraordinarily sane, rational, healthy, no conflict. And time has not shown that. Yeah? We have had 40,000 years. And if you wait another 40,000 years, you'll be exactly the same. This is logical. 